It was a staple of the community from the start, but at the end of last season, organizers of the Bronx Night Market thought that they would have to close the doors for good. They faced numerous challenges in keeping the market open, but tonight they appear to have found a solution that's going to allow them to reopen this spring. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo. Any day Fordham Plaza gets some attention is a good day, says Chevy Jessup. Everybody comes to Fordham. Even if they don't buy anything, everybody comes to Fordham just to window shop. The plaza bustles, even in the cold, with an estimated 80,000 people a day. But every gem can stand some polishing. Post pandemic, you know, we've seen sort of like a de deterioration of the plaza. Marco the Shalma is facility. the man behind the Bronx Night Market. Modeled after Smorgasburg, the open air market brought food and live music to Fordham Plaza one Saturday a month from April to October for the past seven years. But after a losing battle with illegal vending, vagrancy, and subpar city upkeep, Shalma decided to pull the plug. I had to personally pick human feces every time you used to show up to the plaza. It became consistently more difficult. What he didn't expect was the public outcry. All this time, there was a voice that says, like, why can't we have good things in the Bronx? And so the founder of Mask Hospitality Group decided to continue the market this year on one condition. More cooks in the kitchen, better attention from city government. If the plaza is programmed and, and active five, six, seven days a week, that will deter any of the ill doings. The new vision not only includes the night market, but bringing back a farmer's market and adding a bookstore. And part of this push to make Fordham Plaza the crown jewel of the Bronx, organizers are partnering with local health organizations to encourage plant-based eating and have cooking demonstrations right here in the plaza. And with the Bronx still ranking as New York's unhealthiest county, it's very much needed. This project is community minded. The true foodies won't go hungry this April. Go for it. They got everything. In the Fordham section of the Bronx, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.